I've had pretty middling experiences with wireless headphones in the past, but I think I finally found a set that suits this irregular sized cranium. So why do I think the Steel Series Arctis 9 are finally the wireless headphones for me? I mean, firstly, they look great. They're clean, simple. They've got this nice matte finish to them. The steel frames sturdy while being light, but because they're not overly gamery, I feel like I can actually wear these away from my desk. If I wanna go for a walk or to the shops and not have little Timmy point and look and be like, oh look, there's a nerd, let's get him. And if I wanna get away from my desk, I can even hide the microphone inside the ear cup. So at this point, they're just a nice set of earphones. Like I said, the steel frame makes them extremely durable, lightweight, flexible, to the point that paired with the ski goggle headband that Steel Series use, even on my giant head, they're perfectly comfortable. So if you have a human-sized head, and you're not some kind of missing evolution link like I am, chances are they're gonna be a great fit for you as well. I'm also a huge fan of the breathable ear cups that Steel Series use. None of that fake plastic leather sort of thing that gets real sweaty when your room is anything above like 20 degrees Celsius and if you have headphones for too long they start flaking off and falling apart. No, 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 no. Nice and breathable, nice and comfortable, feels great against my skin. I've been wearing these for six to ten hours a day for the past five days and I have not had a single complaint or felt discomfort even once. But headphones aside for a second, the other feature that comes in the box is the SteelSeries wireless hub. This is probably, it probably makes one of my favorite features of the whole kit that you get. Now SteelSeries claims that this thing has a range of 40 feet using its 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection. I haven't been walking around with a tape measure, I must admit, but I have been able to go to every room in my house and venture forthwith into the garden without any quality drop or any signals cutting out whatsoever. So for normal everyday use, this thing is probably going to go above and beyond what you want it to do. But you also have the option of using the 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection in tandem with the Bluetooth capability of the headphones. That means for if, if for some bizarre reason you want to wear these listen to your game audio and your Discord audio, but also play music through your phone to the headphones, you can do that. I don't know really why you'd want to do that. That sounds like a bit of a cacophony to me, but hey, it's nice to have options. But for me, the best quality of life that dongle gives you, as opposed to standard wireless headphones that just come on a USB, is that the hub features audio in and out. Now that means you can use your computer speakers in tandem with the wireless headphones. And what I mean by that is that as soon as you turn the headphones on, your computer audio will switch from speaker to headphones and vice versa. As soon as you turn them off, back to speakers. And it's doing all that without you having to suffer and like, oh, go down, I need to go to my, my device menu, speakers, virtual headphones, select playback device, none of that. It's a faff. It's not gonna mess up your Discord input outputs. It's not gonna make you suffer through scrolling down. It's a minor issue, I know, but it's, a, it's so frustrating when you just wanna listen to your speakers. It only takes a few seconds and it means that I don't have to fiddle with Windows select playback device nonsense. It's not gonna mess up my Discord audio inputs or outputs. Just turn the thing off, listen to my computer. It's, it's a small feature, but I love it. It fixes that pet peeve for me. Bless. Speaking of Discord, the microphone that's included is Discord certified. Now it's not going to blow your socks off when it comes to audio quality, but it's got enough gain. It's got enough noise cancellation that it doesn't pick up my clicky clacky keyboard. And most importantly, it's clear enough that I can make effective enemy callouts when playing Escape from Tarkov or deliver my well-rehearsed speech as to why I'm in fact not the imposter while playing Among Us with friends. 
The overall sound quality of these has been pretty great. They do come out of the box pretty level across the board, maybe if not a touch heavy on the bass, but if you're like me, you like a bassier experience when it comes to your games and music, then they're likely going to be ideal. If you do want to tailor your audio experience a bit more, SteelSeries has its own software with an equalizer, so you can really tailor the audio experience to suit your tastes. The Arctis 9s also come with DTS Headphones 2.0, which is meant to simulate that kind of surround sound vibe inside your headphones. Now, for me and the games that I play, it's completely fine. I've not noticed a huge uptick in me being able to pinpoint enemy locations or really know which angle gunfire is coming from, but from what I'm aware, in the 7s, it was an optionable, toggleable thing in the software. Now, it seems like a small step back keeping it enabled all the time. I've looked in the software and I can't find the option to turn it off. So it's, it's not a hugely intrusive feature, but it's a shame that you don't have the option to play around with it and flick it on and off. You also have the on-the-fly game to VoIP mix controls. So with a little turn of this wheel, you can turn your Discord up or your game up in relation to each other. It makes it world easier and you don't have to tab out and fiddle with your levels. You just turn the wheel find something that suits you and that you're comfortable with. My only gripe with these controls, however, is they are exactly where your thumbs sit, where you put the headphone on or you take it off. So pretty much every time I take the headset off or put it on, I'm messing with the levels that I might have been happy with before, or I'll rejoin a Discord call after going and getting a parcel or going to the bathroom or whatever, and all of a sudden I, I can't hear anything and I have to spend like 20 seconds just Oh, oh, I can hear you again. Yep. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, they left the call. With these minor gripes aside though, this thing does everything I want it to. Music, movies, games. Let me sit on the toilet without audio interruptions. Dude, what the hell? All that coupled with a 20 hour battery life, as well as being able to use these on my PS4 and SteelSeries have said that they will work on the upcoming PS5. That is the whole feature set except for the chat to game volume mixer. I've got to say, me and my large head, we couldn't be that much happier. Oh, but before I go, this one thing on the box really made me laugh. The box says, pros have won more prize money with Steel Series than any other brand. I... Good for them. I mean, I'm not gonna win no money. I'm a bit of a scrub, but hey, Steel Series, I respect the weird flex. But for nearly a week of me using these things, those are my thoughts. Let me know if you have any other questions about these in the comment section down below, or if you want us to take a look at any other bit of tech or hardware, then feel free to let me know on Twitter as well. Until next time, if you want to stay tuned for all the tech news, hardware reviews, PC gaming, and everything in between, make sure you subscribe to GameSpot.